before. Um, the point of this comp is to have the tracer goes through choke when, because we're gonna be making a big commotion. So they're if their eyes don't deceive them, or it does, then tracer should be able to get through here, real nice and easy. Yeah. And we just play slow for the tracer. I was if able to get it. I was able to get through, uh, on the left. Yeah, and. Uh, I mean, if you go through left, you're going to have a harder time because there's more of an LOS to the team, to the enemy team, yeah. and they'll be able to see you easier. But what the point of this comp is we want you to get through choke and be as sneaky as possible, whether if you go up top, above, and then you use your blinks to get through here, and then you just... You know, assassinate an honor that's right here, a Zen that's right here, or whatever, and then you go on point. Then, while you're on point, you let us know who's away from choke, how many people are away from choke, and that lets us know whether or not we can get through. Um, so that's the point of that comp, to so that we can get through choke a lot easier. Because, uh, like I said, if they have a junk and they have a spam comp or whatever, then they're going to be spamming this choke and we're not going to... We're going to basically be... Hitting our we're heads. Not gonna have any, yeah, we're not going to have any resources to be able to get through choke because they're basically getting rid of it. Because that's what spam comp does. That uh, spam comp, they want, they want you to use up all your resources so by the time the fight actually happens, you won't have any resources to be able to use... Gotcha. Um, but let's say the tracer is caught up, uh, tracer died, tracer, um, went the wrong way over here, and, like, one person is following her, and she doesn't have a way to get to point, that's where Sim comes into play. So Sim, she puts down her teleporter, and like I was saying before, um, let's say Sim puts down her teleporter, well, we do not want to take that teleporter because then all of the enemy characters are going to look, turn around and look straight at the teleporter. They're going to come straight to point and they're going to uh, basically be playing point and that's not what we want them to do because if they're a spam comp, they're going to be eliminating our resources by the time we get there. So, Sam, she puts down her teleporter. Nobody takes it. The enemy team turns around and goes towards point. Okay, cool. We let them go. That's fine with us. We just hop on down through choke. And we come through choke free. Uh, for free, yeah. And then we just target focus. Uh, we follow Ryan wherever he goes. We follow Ryan. We follow his target focus. Uh, we go right. We go through main. Doesn't matter to us. We just follow Ryan and we get through choke. And we target focus. But let's see what we actually do. And we'll go from there. Hang on one sec, my fucking dog. So, so Strex hit a a pretty good, a pretty good sleep here. Uh, that could have been called. Uh, uh, Zilver was looking there. I was looking there. I didn't actually see that. Actually, I think I do, and I end up waking her up. But I was watching I was a, for that uh, TP to be placed because I was. That's all I was thinking about was the TP. Yeah, I, I didn't understand we weren't taking TP on that first attack. So all I knew is yeah, get behind them. Uh, yeah. Um, like I said, uh, well, I mean, uh, that's what the thought was at first, um, from everybody, but now that we're actually going through this, now we actually have an idea of what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I get y'all's, I get y'all's, uh, confusion there, and I tried to explain it as best I could before the game started, but unfortunately that didn't, uh, that didn't get through to y'all, so... Uh, next time this happens, uh, we should be fine. 
honestly, because, mm-hmm. like I said, TP is meant to be placed. That's, that's only and... betting that they turn around on it, though. They will. And that would only work one time. Oh. It only needs to work one time. Yeah. It, I mean, <laughs> yeah, if... yeah, but what, what if it doesn't work? You can have a backup. Do yeah, TP and yeah, I'll take the TP. No, our, our main, no. So <laughs> our main, our main, main focus is getting the tracer through so that she can get them away from point because obviously if they have an Ana right here, if the tracer goes all the way around, like what this cop is supposed to do, Ana should be over here somewhere and is going to be completely assassinated. So then the fight turns into a 65. Uh, it, even if even if it doesn't, even if we don't get the assassination on the Ana, Tracer still comes to point. That's going to get the Ana away so that their team is not getting any heals. Let's say the Diva turns away. Let's say the Soldier turns away because they're closer to the point than anybody else. That's a 5v3 on point, and I like our odds there. The uh, At choke, I mean. 5v3 on at choke, and I like our odds there. Yeah, it's... It... It's supposed to be like a distraction, right? Like, you have multiple distractions to get them out of choke. Exactly. Why is there a red dot on Zarya's foot? Oh, it's probably it's her beam. beam. She got... It's I think from, she, it's because she got slept. That's the, the, the hit marker sleep. Yeah. But... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look so, at it. So this is what... This is basically what we're doing. We're causing a commotion here where... Where... Like distracting them our trace is going to use her blinks and get in here go around uh possibly use her blinks to get around this way so that she's as sneaky as can be um and once she gets the point she lets us know how many people are looking at her how many people are going to point and hopefully at least three people are going to point because if it is then it's a 5v3 at choke we just target focus we kill the three people and then we go take a six v three at point, and that's our first point. If that doesn't work, that's where the TP goes into play, and that's a distraction as well. Um, but our main focus is getting our tracer through point. So um, if the tracer doesn't do her job or the tracer ends up dying or whatever, uh, we do have the TP to cause a distraction. And we do have another round of the tracer going through our round. Yeah. Any, any questions? No. Nah. I so, do. Yeah, basically... I do use that sleep to go by though. I like that. It was a very yeah, good sleep. It was, yeah, it was really good. Um, this is what we're going to be calling out a lot more, is like opportunities like this because if we do have an opportunity like that, um. Then it's technically Ryan charges in, or Ryan uh, Zarya comes in, or we all just basically target focused as Zarya, and she's dead because she's already like a quarter down health. So, as long as we can get rid of that Zarya, I mean, they're playing two off tanks, we should be able to win this, which we do, but yeah. um, and even yeah, if we okay. even if we don't get the TP or the tracer get around, like. At that point, I think I feel like it's wait for the tracer and the TP or play for ults, right? Yeah. So that's kind, so of, what, that's kind of what we do anyway, and then we just roll them with, you know, ults they can't block, so... Phone call. Yeah. Classy. Hello. Okay. <laughs> just... You could, you could mute it, man. I don't want to I don't want to hear your mom uh, telling you to <laughs> wipe your ass next time you take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was telling me to come eat my cookie cake. I'll be oh, back. Man. That's Jesus. more important. Jesus. I feel that. <laughs> All right. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, so basically this comp is meant to cause a distraction for our tracer to get through or for us to get through choke easy. Because once we get through this choke, I mean, it's a lot easier... This choke is a lot harder to get through than second point because you have a different you have different ways to get through second point. Mm-hmm. Uh, get through this the second point. Door. So uh, first point's a lot harder. So here is why we're making the distraction. I mean, 
we can do this on pretty much every other map that has a single choke like that, like like Volskaya or I mean we don't even play Paris, but that could that could also be used on Paris. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's let's see some other opportunities we could have. So that's you see, look at this. So yeah. if Zil if Zilver wouldn't have gone down, this is what could have happened. Could have happened. Place the TP. Look at how many people turn around. TP goes down. Zarya looks. Diva looks. I don't know what the fuck this echo does. Just <laughs> <laughs> Look at how many yeah, people. Everyone turned except around. for their honor yeah. turned around. Yeah. Yeah. It would so be easy, just pushed in. <laughs> exactly. Look at how free this choke is. If we just push in with speed and target focus, this honor's dead. The honor's dead. The yeah. Right now, Zarya. I think I'm sitting on two blinks. So yeah, if that honor got called. I'm on top. Then Ryan's already there with speed. Exactly. We do actually have a Lucio Lucio. Exactly. Yeah. So this is the whole reason for Sim is just in case the tracer doesn't get the distraction, the Sim is there for that distraction. Because sure. let's watch this. What? Let's watch this in a uh, regular speed. Let's see how many people. Let's see how many people turn back in regular speed. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> It's more of a mind game than actually using the strat. It's more of like, hey, we're going to teleport. Oh, no, we're not. Now your backline's fucked. Look at that. Now, if we didn't have take if we didn't take the teleporter, then we could have sped in, killed this uh, soldier, killed this soldier, killed this Ana, took her on the long side, Possibly killed the Mercy. If not, then we could have target focused the Diva. But we basically get through this choke for free. This is the whole point of this comp. Yeah, I, I think we understand what's going on now because we didn't at the time. Yeah, we, at the time it was just yeah. go through choke tracer, go on the flank. I didn't really know what was happening. Now this, is, this makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's totally fine. I mean this is what vow reviews are for. This is what practice is for. Um, and. Obviously, y'all get the gist of what's supposed to happen, but um, yeah, when y'all didn't, and this is what happens. We basically this comp does not work. But yeah, I mean, for the sim TP, I mean, so many people turned around. Like it's not even funny. Four four players turned around. That's two players that are free, so that we can target focus, and including that Ana, which is the bulk of their healing. Like we just basically target focus them and they died over time. I mean, there's six of us that gets through, uh, five of us that get through choke. I mean, they should be dying pretty quickly, especially with a sim on, on the team. I mean, as, as far as I'm concerned, as soon as she gets to level three, she starts beaming people down. So y'all just pump heals into the tanks and the sim and y'all get sim this point burn. for free. Yeah, y'all get this point for free as soon as y'all get through choke. But of course, we that does not work. Let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so we try it one more time. That was not lucky. Yeah, at this point I'm just trying to get back, and then I blink and I go in between that doorway and I get fucking molested. Yeah, that that was unlucky. Um, yeah, at this point, Glaren, you're obviously on a yeah. You went to go get back. So right here we're not doing anything. So you are on healing. That's good. They do. Um, that is unlucky right there. Uh. So, 
they used Visor. They're coming up on Mercy Ult, and that's all they got. Uh, I mean, they're coming up on Echo Ult too, but I mean, we pretty much don't have anybody that she can, unless she turns into Tracer, and she's a pretty good Tracer player, but I doubt that. If she took a Ryan, that'd be bad. They have a Zarya and a Diva. Yeah, but if we target focus her, she shouldn't be able to do anything because she would have to go into us. So as long as we're target focusing, um, she shouldn't be able to get too too far. Uh, so there's two off tanks right here. We're obviously playing kind of slow. We're waiting for our tracer to get through. Uh, their DPS are kind of midway. That's where they're supposed to be playing. Uh, supports are playing back. That's where they're supposed to be playing. So this is actually not a bad setup as long as they didn't. As long as they had a main tank, they should have been better. For us though, we uh, we're five right now. We lost Glaren. Um, yeah, I tried not, to hide behind yeah. the tree. Yeah, that's, that's not that's not bad. But I'm not used to Lucy. Like, I forget Lucio has a glide to him, so he can't like position perfectly. Oof, he that first stop got fucking melted. He doesn't yeah. stop when you stop when you let go of the key. He just kind of glides for a second. At this point, me and uh, me and Strax or me and Zilv are just playing for ult. So I yeah, get I, I get mean, mine and leave. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Um, obviously, uh, Sniper got destroyed in a matter of seconds. Uh, I I peeked back, even though I wasn't supposed to peek back, because I was already low, so yeah. that was my fault as well. So we're Down two run. Um, yeah, so we were just... Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Excuse me. We were... Um, Dumbo? We were not doing very good at, at the beginning of this. Like, we could not get a full fight of six. Yeah, we were on. staggering hard here. Yeah, we were, we were really much staggering. Uh, I don't know what that... Did he have shield? Uh, I think even if he did, he was dead, in all honesty. He had full shield. Uh, he could have kept shielding. Yeah, he could have kept shielding. Wait for Straxus to heal him up. Um, obviously, watch, we watch me hide. Watch my hiding spot here. Where the hell are you? In cafe. Oh. <laughs> In cafe? Yeah. I don't know we're like a few seconds behind, but I got so scared. It was like I was playing a horror movie, a horror game, because I just heard footsteps all around, and I was like, I need to either die or reset. And I was like, Well, I'm close enough to. Oh, just... there he is! Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh fuck! Let's <laughs> hear the diva clomping around out there. <laughs> all right, well, we switch to uh, junk. We switch to spam, junk. Uh, mercy. So yeah, the point. Where I switch to mercy. So the point of this can you, um, is... Can you check out this pulse bomb here? I want to know what the hell happens to it, because... Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. The stick, the Oh, Zilver, so we were talking shit about you. Oh, yeah, you're trash. You? Yeah, I believe it. I'm terrible <laughs> at this game, dude. I suck. What the fuck is my screen? What is this? Well, because, uh... No, uh, no, you, no you stuck it on the Zarya. Have... Yeah, I know, I know I stuck Zarya, but... She probably shielded. Okay. Yeah, she bubbled... What did I do yeah, wrong? Bubble. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. You charged. You charged away to escape when you had full shield and low health. Yeah, oh, he was like he was like half health, but I mean. Is that is that it? Three quarter health. Oh, I, was just I mean, I know in the first there. fight I kind of just fed because I thought we were uh, te teleporting, but we know now. Yeah. Uh. Mm, this cake is so good, dude. So basically, uh, we have junk, so we want to play kind of slow to mitigate the resources. And right here, I don't know why she turned into Mercy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I Echo, don't want <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it sh should have been. Um, beam just tickling your bum. There's a few beams so, tickling your bum. So there we go. Uh, junk is... Junk just used Inspire. She junk used 
personal, so that's why we kill them. Uh, Zarya, you said junk. Yeah, Zarya. <laughs> you said junk used Inspire, and then junk. And then you said junk had no bubbles, and I was yeah, very confused. Junk made them use Inspire. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, we just kind of had ults. That's, that's really it there. Yeah, just press alt and win. Yeah. That's about it. They didn't have shields, so hammer was furry for sure. And then that was a massive nano onto our Rhine. Because that slaughtered the Zarya, who's also nanoed. So we switch to I double sniper. The corner and then jump right back out. Yeah, we go double yeah, we sniper switch. here. Yeah, we switch to double sniper, which is good. So here we want to try to get an off angle going. Oh, yeah. And Phantom uh, we Lee don't... did that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my. Jeez. Okay, I duck here because I'm like, oh, God, this one watching. Fuck. Oh, it's, a, it's, an, it's an echo. Wait, but they had a widow, too. I got far, scared. How far behind am I? We're going stairs right side right now. For we me. just captured first point. Oh, you need Jesus, to Silver, you're far behind. Yeah. We're up at the steps. All right, refresh, I see. Okay. I also found okay. that Ana peeking me. So they're all right here, which is good because they don't have a... They don't have a brawl comp. So what we can essentially do just is... let our tanks press W. Wait. Yeah, let our tanks press W. Uh, um, wait for Butt Wrench to get some damage on them because they're just all right here in his yeah. line of sight. I've also gotten two kill. They don't have res and their Ana is dead. Yeah, they, because they so, just use res and their Echo. So this is prime time to just stomp that Echo in front of us. Exactly. So I mean, Glaring is damage boosting us. So right here, Butt Wrench could essentially get a body shot on this Echo. I believe I do. Too. Our tanks. Our tanks just press W and kill this Echo. Uh, that's what I was hoping for. With yeah, that, uh, I think that's Bell exactly because, what happens, actually. Because I was right. Because I was damage boosting Belk, and I'm just like, why are we just standing here? Yeah. It, it, well, the reason why we were standing here is actually because I was saying down two, down two, down two, and Zilver was taking that as he didn't know which team was down two. Yeah. And when then I body I shot the Echo here. Down two. It usually we're down two. No. <laughs> Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get all of that situated here in yeah. the future. Like, uh, looking at the um, looking at the kill feed and saying up two or down two. Keep it keep it on the kill feed. It's a big big thing as a, as a tank. Knowing the yeah. tempo of the fight is is. Yeah, I mean it's a big jump. thing for every it's it's a big thing for everybody. Just looking yeah, at I the watch kill feed. No, no, it's a big thing for everybody. But like um, tanks dictate the tempo of fights, so for a tank, it's almost your number one job. It's almost the main thing you want to yeah. watch. You should yeah. know who's dead and who's alive at all times. Um, as far as this goes, I mean, I mean, they just support? gave us three kills. Yeah, I mean, I mean, right here where uh, oh, they just used. Are we paused for me? You just... yeah, yeah, we're just kind of sitting here right now. I think. Yeah, yeah cause early in the I'm... fight, butt wrench picked the echo. Uh, Mercy res the echo. Well, I went the oh. stream was paused for me. It wasn't like we're just sitting looking on top. Okay, cool. Yeah, just... look, look at the alts that are like sparking. That's how you know it's not the stream's not frozen. Okay. Yeah, you could also look at the FPS up in the corner. <laughs> That's okay. That thing's going ape shit. <laughs> also, you, you, have, you have triple buffering on there, Phantom. You should turn that off. <laughs> uh, let me think here, cause. You did kill the Echo, then the Mercy Res, and then you picked the Echo off again. Yeah, like, I, and honestly, I don't think we do anything particularly noteworthy here. We just kind of, they just kind of give us free kills so they don't have a main tank. They keep picking me, they keep peeking me so they die. We just push up, we get two free ticks, and there's not much here to really talk about. I mean, they just kind of, they just kind of die. There's not much we should really do differently. We got we had our sights, we had our off angles, and we just pressed W. Yeah. We so right we here could have worked on calls better. I think that's probably the thing you should. Yeah. So since you're right here, what I could have done differently was go over here and uh, wall climbed up and try to get an off angle off over here. But instead, I stayed with the team, which was probably a good choice, only because they they did have the soldier. 
We also have that damage boost going, so that Hanzo spam of choke is not a bad thing either. Yeah. It's probably um, one of the few times you want both snipers in one spot when you have that, that Mer Valk Mercy. Yeah. Uh, but right here, obviously, we do get the two picks. Uh, yeah. We're up two right now. Yes. Up two and no res. Up two and no res. Yep. So, we finally... <laughs> we do eventually run forward. I think Glaren yells, yeah. why aren't we running forward? And Zilver goes, oh, okay. And then we start charging up the fucking wall. Okay. Finally, okay, so the Mercy <laughs> should stick to the tank. I was hoping yeah. someone would peek, and then I would just yeah. charge them. Because, I mean... Yeah, another no thing here, there. Phantom, me and you both take the same angle. We both shoot different people, thankfully, but... I kind of I mean, saw, yeah. I mean, right here, you can't really... Yeah, it's hard to get... Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard to get different... It. Yeah, it's it's hard to get different LOSs here on this point, only because they're... It's all open. Yeah. So, I mean... Not to mention, they, they don't have a shield, so having the same LOS is not necessarily a bad thing. They have no cover. Yeah. So, I mean... So, I'm right here. Point. What you could do is come over here so that they wouldn't be able to pick two people off in the same vicinity. Yeah. Or you stay right here, and I. Go I think over I go here. a little more to the left here. Yeah, I think I take like the other side of this this long bridge. I think um, I, I think I see you here, and I want I want to go up top of there, but then I realize that we're actually getting a lot more value just by staying where we are. Yeah, so that that was actually a good um, a good call staying down here because if you were up here, then you would have to like peek over a little bit to get more. Yeah. Of an LOS over here. Yeah, I lose the left side on this LOS. Yeah, so you would always have to be looking at the right over here, point yeah, over I think here. I, yeah, I, think, I don't know if I, I take mean, the door or if I do go up here and hold that right side, but I drop down after. Yeah, I mean, I'm right here. I, I'm holding that left side as well, but I mean, yeah, I'm you, a projectile, so <laughs> I would have to be hitting my shots in order to hit that left side. Uh, as far as team goes, I mean, we're both pushing up. Mercy's with y'all. Ana's going with y'all. That's a good thing. Wait, our tank can just uh, stop that back right side. Yeah, I mean, y'all are just gonna. Them. I mean, it's just soldier and baby down here, so y'all have perfect reign. And they're both uh, half. Aria is oh. the only one on point. What y'all could have done differently was instead of just chasing these kills, y'all could have just dropped down, killed this uh, Zarya, target focused the Zarya because obviously we're right there, so we're target focusing the Zarya as well. Then the Mercy, and obviously the Baby and the Soldier are going to come down here, so it's basically clean up from there. Yeah, but they're going to have to walk into our line of sight to do anything, so they're going to die anyway. Exactly. So instead of chasing these kills, because y'all got to go down here, chase these kills, Soldier obviously has uh, has running ability, so he's going to try to get away from that. Um, Plus going downstairs is really bad with the with the Ana because if I come down with you guys or the Ana comes down with you guys to get sight, either you lose sight and healing all the way down and on backside, or the Ana has to go back up because when people respawn, she can get hit from the side, so Ana has yeah. to be up top. So you lose healing for like fifty percent of that engagement if you go downstairs instead of just dropping off. And yeah. That is that is true. Um, that's exactly what happened. I had to go back up top because they were respawning and I couldn't stay there anymore. Yeah, that, that is true. Uh, uh, for most of this, though, uh, have you done a vital view with Rev yet? Yeah, I have. Uh, has he told Has he told you about uh, if your tanks or your DPS go forward and they're not in your LOS just to Let leave them, them alone? Yeah, yeah. That's, ex that's exactly what's gonna happen here. They that's go down exactly. here. <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> that's what I did. I think yeah, I you don't want to. My mic might have been too quiet. I don't know if like like, cause, like we were doing good call. Hey James, but I been too quiet. someone's at the door. I said, like, someone just I knocked. Said, uh, I said I said no on the heels. I'm going upstairs, but I don't know if they got hurt or not. So I, I, I think I heard that. I didn't. Um, no, I was too focused on popping heads. Yeah, I think I heard that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Anna, she can go up here. She can play right here. Play point, uh, take an eye on that right side every now and then just to make sure. Or she can just come over here, play this angle. As soon as the tanks drop down, you have this angle to work with. I think I went up, and then when I came back up the stairs because we pushed, I ended up dropping down and hugging Minnie on bottom. 
because oh, we right had here? that whole angle so hard uh, on right side, I, like underneath of the overpass. Well, I'm a few <laughs> seconds behind, so probably. But I had to drop down because I couldn't see the Rhine. I couldn't see somebody, so I dropped down and hugged Mini. Okay. But, uh, but it was obviously we won, but I should have tried to stay up top. Yeah, I mean, it's all... All of this is going on is... Um, all we're basically trying to do is positioning. That's what I'm trying to do with this body review is just positioning and letting y'all know of different routes y'all could have taken, different uh, spots y'all could have, like, laid Bro more Broadening the spectrum of what we could have done. Yeah. yeah. That's a good yeah. way to put that. Yeah. So, I mean, I think we call this, I'm not too sure if we call this, but I think we called that Zarya was the alone on point. I don't remember and hearing it. Or maybe I did, because I don't remember going down the stairs. Yeah, so I think we called yeah. it. I'm yeah, Phantom, sure. I think we were yelling about Zarya when we started shooting at her. Yeah, so that could have been the, okay, go ahead, like... I think, though, I, st I immediately aimed for the Mercy instead, just because, it's, you know, squishies. Yeah. Get that healing out. I get nanoed here, so I was just like, fuck it. Jesus, yeah. When <laughs> Glaren, I first you got nanoed? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I went up and on the Rhine, and he, I think he guardian angeled in front of me, or he sidestepped or something. Like, I went to flick it, and I was like, I was so paranoid because there's three people, and I was like, fuck, if I get that Rhine and he drops on point, that's easy. And then, like, as soon as I saw that it line up, I clicked it, and I just, <laughs> I saw nothing on him. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Glaren goes, yeet. <laughs> yeah, I, I take the mano, and I just start, I pull out the pistol, that's and right. I anyway, start I started in <laughs> yeah <Cool. laughs> um all right so tanks keep going forward shift into the diva that's fine she's out of Wait, we game. were both shooting at the mercy actually yeah. I think we called Zarya Mercy on point. I get the soldier. I did take top left. That's right. I got both of them. Merc uh, yeah, Mercy died there. That's right. Yeah, no, so I did take that off angle because you had the left side. I was going to cover the right. Okay. Yeah. So this is fine. Um, yeah, this is fine. Our yeah. DPS, our uh, tanks, I mean, are going forward around, which isn't bad considering that... You only have two people right here. You yeah. have Baby and you have Ana, which are both squishies. You can kill them pretty quickly. Right, now is not the time for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, like, let's say they do have a Rhine and, they, and the Zarya, and they do come up here. I mean, that's a fight right there, and we don't have any DPS. I mean, we do, but, I mean, we're shooting it from the back. They could just be... LOSing us from this right here or keep going forward. I only I only went down the stairs because I knew I could rotate a point immediately because there wouldn't be anything but squishies right there. So I could just immediately drop back the point. Yeah, that's fair. Um and obviously he, we did call that they were down too. That's why we that's why we came up here. And by the time you drop down here they should already be spawning. Which they are. So yeah. I mean, if those picks that we did call was like, let's say the pick was a Reaper, and let's say, what was the other pick? Uh, a, the Soldier? I mean, Reaper Soldier? Let's say like it was Reaper Soldier. They come out this way, they start doing damage to y'all, then y'all gotta back, y'all gotta back up to stairs because y'all aren't gonna, y'all aren't gonna win that. <laughs> yeah. The one thing you got, you did that I do think the tanks did well there is that D.Va was actually getting back into mech on those steps. So had you dropped back down to point immediately, then D.Va and Soldier would have just, uh, well, neither one of them would have died. They would have just went back, and then you have a tank and a DPS to, to contend with. Um, and that D.Va coming up for us, mere, uh, mere Phantom, would have been catastrophic considering, you know, D.Va is the ultimate duelist. So... I think what they did is fine, in all honesty. Like the Ryan killing the Diva, getting her out of getting her out of mech again. That's a really uh, good point. She comes back up here, and like, right as they get half that, that that screen that we had last there, yeah. she was getting back into mech. Yeah. So yeah, I think so that was fine. Yeah. So I think I breaking would... the mech here is good, but then they should back up immediately. Like right there, just back right off. The second that mech breaks, go back up the stairs. 
Well, here's the thing, though, because they don't have Lucio, the so they don't have the speed to back up. Why is the screen tearing? <laughs> There's a void I just opening. See the, I, just, I just see the uh, the weird hieroglyphics on the left side. Oh, they're yeah, so, weird. so, yeah, like I was saying, we don't have the Lucio, so even if they do back up, it's going to take them time to back up. Fair. So rather, so rather than back up, they should just commit to the fact of what they of what they're doing here. Exactly, and they have the they have the mercy, so the mercy should be damage boosting them. We're hitting them from the back, so we're hitting them from behind. Yeah. I, so what I think we did was fine. I think I naded them one last time and then walked upstairs, and my nade should be on cooldown here. I naded and then walked away just to give you guys that last little bit as you guys went to half because I was like, well, fuck this. I just, I just well, mercy healing a nated target is what, like ninety a second? It's something crazy, like seventy yeah, a second. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Like that's not bad. No, I haven't. So I, I mean, I think you haven't nated yet. I mean, <laughs> I might have just pulled it up. I don't know if you want to go back a second. I should have nated. I, I think you peek the side and nade, and then you go back. I think is what you do. We are a few. We are like a few seconds back. Yeah, you, you were like a half a second. You were like nading in the process. Oh, I anti down. Yeah. Because the yeah. Uh, the other Anna uh, Anna. Threw the, an the mercy down. was the guys. mercy was one down here. Yeah. And there's to... our screenshot. Then bang, yeah. But we had her before you before the nade landed. Yeah. So the what stream I think... keeps buffering for me, and I don't know why. It's probably so for I you. I get like Zill. really far behind. It's probably on your Isn't end because it. it's not buffering for me at all. It has to be your connection. I would just refresh yeah. the page again. It's not buffering for me either. Aren't you downloading yeah. something? No. Well, yeah, I paused it though. Oh, okay. I would turn this quality down, or just refresh every like few minutes when you notice you get behind. It'll catch back up. That's what I've been doing. Is just refreshing. That's annoying though. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love the name Uppercut. Yeah, I know, right? I've been looking at that for a while. <laughs> or Captain Duckets. Like, there's some pretty creative names over there. Uh, fuck! What was it? It was like, um, it was like a, a joke name on clitoris, but it was something else. Clit. Fuck! I can't remember, dude. It was so funny. <laughs> they got four chin. That's nice. Four chin. Four chin. It's yeah. me. So, so I think what the tanks did here was fine, but if they did have a broad type comp, if the enemy team did have that broad type comp. I think what y'all did was too risky because we don't have the DPS to do anything with y'all. And plus with y'all out of the line of sight, I think the best thing for y'all to do if they did have that broad type comp was just drop off and just drop onto point. Gotcha. So given the situation, it was a good play, but if the enemy team had a better comp, then it would have been suicide. Yes. Gotcha. Why wouldn't it charge like that if they had a Reaper on me? <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, which is which like is a, said, a tribute the to the idea it that good. it's a tribute <laughs> to the idea that it was a good play. It's just that if their team was more Better dangerous, like just because there's two people, just because there's two people on those stairs and they're low, doesn't mean we should chase. Like if they did have, say, it was still a soldier and a diva on that staircase that was low, but then they had like a Reaper may come back from spawn. You don't want to get caught down there and then get walled off and murdered in that corner because then your snipers can't help you. Yeah, I think is the point. It's not necessarily like, oh, there's a full brawl comp there, but just just one or two heroes different could have really fucked you guys over, especially because yeah, that honor lands asleep. Yeah, and then plus if the Rhine does end up dying, that just destroys the comp. Yeah, we're not gonna get those two ticks that we got. So yeah, given the situation, it was good, but just 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 in the future, keep that in mind if there's people low on the stairs like that, because I, I see what you're yeah. saying, Phantom. That that could have been dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and but then plus two, no if the Ana... The Diva Bomb came out, and then everyone just went away. What happened? What do you mean? The, this is this is after, like, after we kill Zarya, and we're sitting on point. Because Diva comes back with Bomb, and we should have capped the point, right? Because there was only, like, three people there, and we had still had an entire team. What happened? Well, let's watch it. Yeah, uh, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, rather than rather than be a broken record and keep going on about this, I mean, even if Anna was staying back here, you're not in her LOS. So it was risky, but in this situation, it was a pretty good it was a pretty good play. And me and Phantom don't have 100% health. Uh, Glaren, what are you doing? Trash? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I know you're, you're hard carrying the team. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just yeah, fucking with you. Yeah, the big, big anti. So, so right here. Okay, so just both tanks on point. Oh, Glaren did top yeah, us off. Yeah, I don't nice. get why. It's both tanks on point only because the DPS don't have point presence. Yeah, we, we, we don't have... have same with we the Ana and the any... Mercy. Like, we don't really need to be on point to be, have the same effect. Like, the Mercy, what the Mercy, what she can do is every now and then go to point and damage boost the Ryan or the Zarya if the Zarya is already at like seventy yeah. percent. It says seventy percent, but she wants to stay with the with the Widow just so she doesn't have to get the full one hundred percent scope. Well, they only respawned fast enough to recontest this because we didn't have enough people on point. They no, they grouped. They grouped to six. They grouped to six here. They waited. Yeah, they, they could have came out earlier. Yeah, they waited. Yeah, they waited. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm just not. And seeing. I respawn might timers don't really. That doesn't happen until overtime anyway. Yeah, and then plus two. I mean, it's almost three minutes of three minutes on the time clock, so we yeah. do get the two ticks, which is good. Which is actually really good. It's amazing, actually. That's so I mean, we just so I mean, we just play slow. We yeah, just like, what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even then, too, like this is kind of a bad play on the diva because because watch. Wasted. What did what did you accomplish with that? <laughs> I mean, do keep right? in mind we're a few seconds behind. I think because I'm just now seeing the diva bomb. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't just know there was a bomb. That was pointless. Shield uh, came up, broke shield, and then I mean, it did it, it did split us. In all it all it truly did is forced our Ryan to break shield. Yeah, like yeah. Straxus took cover for half Whoa. a second, but he's healing Zarya on the other side anyway. I'm still taking shots, as you can see my line right there in the middle of the screen. Yeah. I bet you Hanzo is still popping I took, shots. I took cover with uh, Phantom over here. Yeah, Glaren is still full health, and I took I took a little bit of damage from that, but like. So not only did I go around that corner, I was pressuring the soldier because he was using Vazir. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So and that, Zarya is and actually that's testing the thing over there. Yeah, and that's actually a real good point too because I mean, with Zarya contesting Vizor, I mean, look he at can't Zarya. Can't stop me. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm yeah, frantically look, missing shots. Look at Zarya. <laughs> I, I know y'all are a few seconds behind, but I mean, look at look at Zarya. She's a hundred percent charge, going against Vizor, going, going against Vizor. That's already going. Is already half, and on top of that, Strax is there with her, with Zarya. So I mean, that was a good that that was a good play of contesting the soldier. Yeah. As far as the diva, though, as far as the play that the diva did, she didn't really do much with that bomb besides break, besides break. Do we, use, do we use shatter there? Yeah, we used Shatter. Yeah, yeah but he hammers, he hammers, who is that, Dude. both support? I mean, he hammers oh, the yeah, 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 Echo and the Mercy. I just wanted to see, I just wanted to see yeah. that. Yeah, no, that's nice. I that's, used that's, that too to that's too easy yeah. shots with snipers. That's too easy shots. Yeah, I was focusing, I, I, uh, I was, yeah. I'll be honest, I was hard focusing that soldier. I heard the ult and I was just trying to shoot him. I didn't see the Shatter. I'm yeah, scoped in right cool. now. I don't see it. My Makes thought sense. process on that Shatter was, like, I'm, see, see, I don't have sights on it at all. shield's going to break. I want them down on the ground. Yeah, no, that was a good Shatter, actually. That was actually massive, yeah. If we would have, if we would have called that, we need to re. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't cancel though. the call, Mac. Yeah, um, that's why I was. I was also confused on that because yeah, like yeah. that caused me to die shatter. here too. Because that fucking. Uh, yeah. yeah. See, I, I I don't even see. I don't hear the shadow. I'm just focusing over here. You get slept, then you move. Widow gets called. Yeah. I'm just missing because I'm bad. Yeah, so yeah, there's I'm, no reason we should have called that. We'd back up, so there's no reason you shouldn't have shattered. So that was a good shatter. Um, I should have still had nade because the Zarya should have had it. I should have anti'd on point. We should have heard the shatter, looked for down targets, yeah. knowing Zarya could handle it, and then we should have, we could have sw sweeped or, or swept right there. But I mean, it was still a good play. They just came yeah. out as a group. 
So yeah, um, but even then too, like in the future, those things are gonna happen. I'm not gonna say don't use your alt unless it's like Guaranteed part of the plan. Or something stupid. Unless it's unless it's part of the plan. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, like things like that are gonna happen where y'all where y'all know a good opportunity is gonna appoint it's, itself it's in front of you. So you're gonna so you're gonna ult. Which is fine, but oh, make yeah. sure you make sure your team knows that. That's yeah. like getting it in your head with the Zarya that you don't have to get six people every time. Getting two is fine. Yeah, getting two exactly. grabs is massive, exactly. especially if you have a Rhino doesn't have does not have hammer yet. Exactly. Uh, with the Zarya, yeah, you want to make sure you make sure you get value out of it. But two is fine. I mean, three is perfect. Yeah. Six, I mean, is six. I mean, is like perfect like that's that's great but you don't want to be going for that six and you don't want to be going for that six and i have a lot of struggle with this too because when i'm playing somber with my team i want to make sure i get the six man emp but even emping just the tanks is enough to win the fight yeah so um so i mean i also have that problem too but just making sure that we that shatter was actually really good because you got the mercy and you got the echo and the echo's 50 the mercy is at 76 so i mean it was a good it was a good ult just nobody was looking for it and nobody called it yeah. so it, it just kind of like fell to the wayside and that was a shatter wasted mm-hmm. can you go back uh 20 seconds or so phantom i want to see the end of sniper's duel against the soldier i lost because the zarya came out but yeah, you can see it. Yeah, I just want to see like how low he was. In, and my aim was bad, so oh, that's fine. Aim will get better with time. Was. That's not a problem. You're just gonna, you're just gonna yell aim at is me aim. now. You're gonna yell at me, aren't you? Uh, I want to see sniper's no, perspective. No, Zarya. Sorry. Zarya. Zarya's, Zarya's perspective. Sorry, I'm saying sniper. I mean, oh, Zarya. yeah. I meant, I meant LT sniper. I meant our our boy. Yeah. <laughs> <The> perf- yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, she got bubbled. Uh, I mean, the soldier got bubbled. Okay, yeah. Yep. Uh, I was going to say he was one when he came out, so if he would have right-clicked, he could have gotten that kill. But, I mean, yeah, he got bubbled, so there's not much he could either. Yeah. I also couldn't heal because it was slightly to the left, hugging that wall. To where yeah, that, that is one thing that, that it's, that's kind of rough as tanks. you got to kind of really keep in mind where your healers can see. If you had backed yeah. up to that where that staircase is, he probably could have supported you through it, even through the bubble. Yeah, you could have taken that one too. Like let's like let's say we're playing slow, we're playing back here, and we make the plan to go through choke, which yeah. isn't a bad which isn't a bad call. Uh, let's say the supports are going over here. The supports are playing around this choke right here. They push up. They're playing around this choke, and this is all they can see. They're not gonna be able to see you over there. So if you push over there, don't expect healing. You push that side, don't expect healing. Yep. You come and chase for a kill over here, don't expect healing. That's why it's a big like, thing is always... Ryan, especially when you're going forward for those uh, like hammer swings, you want to like take two steps forward, one, two with your swings, then jump backwards and shield. That way you get as much momentum backwards as you can to get back into sights. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, as Same tanks, just, just keep in mind where your supports are going to be and... Look, e- even like when we're in a choke or approaching point, just the, take a the look. Best way, be the like, best way okay, I heard... The is probably going to be here looking at Yeah, the, at the, the best way I heard to think about it is think about what you could see five seconds ago. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you have an Ana, because Anas are usually about that far behind you, or on like high ground or whatever else, but they're usually like following you, so... A hard problem in the beginning is the fact that if you have somebody, say if you're on middle point... And you only have line of sight from that back, that storage shed with the uh, the mega. Is if you're there and they're on stairs left side, you can't contest without losing healing. So like you said, you have to uh, wrench. You have to push up, swing, come back, heal, push up, contest, back up, heal. It, it's hard to decide as a new tank, especially if we're all at this skill level, getting used to each other. Yeah. When to push, when to keep healing, because. I feel like as a as Anna, I should have if they were in that situation, I should have recognized they needed to contest stairs, or well, they're 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 on point. But I needed to recognize and I needed to rotate. It wasn't necessarily completely their fault because I need to try to rotate with them and call out when I can't keep rotating because of line of sight. 
So it's like it's yeah. not just Hank's fault. It's, no, but this is also also yeah, only yeah. our like second or third game. So um, yeah, <laughs> no, we're, now we're not saying like it's anybody's fault. No, no, no. I'm, I just meant for the future, like. No, like, yeah. and at the end of the day, don't forget, we got two ticks here. That's massive. Like, if this was Overwatch yeah, League, yeah. that'd be enormous. That'd be all over the comms. Like, that'd be massive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Two ticks so, is I mean, huge, Yeah, the, the, fucking, the fucking announcers will be like, yeah, they got two ticks. They gotta fucking roll them. Like, this is massive, man. This is yeah, because awesome. in rank, that would be way bigger than quick play, which doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I so was I more or like... less saying that for, my, for me to remember that for the future. Yeah. And even then, too, like, for... Tanks, you want to protect your supports at all time. Like they are, let's let's say like they're the queens slash kings of the of the game. Chessboard. You want you want to you want to treat them like royalty. So if that means using your shield to make sure your Ana gets past the choke, okay. Yeah, use your shield, let her get past choke, let her get set up. You help, you help, you have to help your supports get set up before you can do anything. But Phantom, the DPS are royalty. <laughs> yeah, no, Don't you know that me and Phantom carried everything? We're the reason that this is our win. <laughs> Need more heals. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the like the supports you want to treat them like royalty. You yes. want to make sure you can, they can. Especially as tanks. Yeah, you want to make sure they can rotate to their spots easily. You don't want them doing it on their own because they can. Ev all of the, every single one of the supports is a squishy. Besides Brig, Brig is, Br Brig is up there but she, uh, she she's not gonna be squishy much longer yeah i yeah as soon as this patch goes through i don't think so i thought she had nerfed back <laughs> not she really she, i thought she got uh, that's what that's what i meant back. she's gonna be squishy again yeah she got nerfed again she they gave yeah, her she's gonna have <laughs> she's gonna back. be uh 200 again even yeah but with armor yeah but 200 with armor, with armor. Yeah, with so. armors so, I mean, every single one of the supports here are squishy, whether you look at it from an Ana point of view, a Zen point of view, a Brig point of view. Uh, but then again, I mean, Brig, as long as they're target focusing, is still a squishy. So, as long as you're looking at it from this point of view, I mean, you should be helping your supports rotate to where they need to be in order to help the team fight. And right now, Straxis is in a okay spot he's in a good spot if the soldier wanted to push him up on high ground he could yeah Strax so would have to run back to the hanzo and get safety there yeah that, that, that's why like when i'm on i prefer to be where like hanzo is as Ana. yeah harder to push that, yeah. and i mean it's a it's a really good spot this is where i got my support as... big fat nay big fat anti or a fucking i was gonna say nap but I've been drinking a yeah. uh, big fat sleep. <laughs> yeah, like right shouldn't... here where Phantom is, like right using this wall for cover, that's a pretty good spot for Ana. Or even using the pillar to the left of uh, Phantom as cover as well. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. You have you have sight line of the entire point, and you, the only time you're going to lose sight is if like players hide behind the lamp. And, and we that's... stopped contesting bottom stairs, so it wasn't as important to be up high. Exactly. Yeah. I, dude, watch where I went. I think I went down to. Uh, oh, that's not important. We can keep going. I think I went down to mini. We all just reset, anyways. But we don't have to waste time looking at one person when we're doing a team. No, that's fine. I, mean, I just want to see where I went to, to learn <laughs> from it. I mean, you do go back down. Yeah. Uh, at this point, we kind of know that we're down. Yeah. Four, okay, so we so... just kind of back up. Oh, you fed Zilver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. What did I do? No, no I, I fed. Yeah, Glaren fed you the I wolves. I was just like, here's 500 more health points to feed off of. I think I was yeah. trying to say, yeah, fed to him. I was trying to babysit you, and at one point you said, I think you said thanks. <laughs> you said something like that. You said something, I was like, oh, wait, that was Phantom. Nice. <laughs> so I'm not used to playing with you, so I was like, is that the random? <laughs> Uh, oh, so that f that fucking. <laughs> I mean, look right this here. One, 
Yeah. Hey, yeah. it's not much of a peace shooter when I'm nanoed. That's fair. So Oof. we're looking at Ana right now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That is uh, a. Sure that is another thing, Straxus. When you use abilities, take like an extra half second to look around. It does look like you rush abilities a little bit. Yeah. So I am on a completely different monitor. What I was saying in this game. So like it's okay. tearing really bad. I have a new one coming Wednesday. Oh, okay. So gotcha, gotcha. So I have a lot of screen tear. Really bad. <laughs> so Did when I'm looking at uh, this is a fucking TV on my on my desk. I. I, I was playing on my laptop, but the way it's set up, I'm playing on a TV now. My monitor comes on actually Monday. It comes Monday, so oh. I won't have this problem where I am seeing like a kid with ADHD on crack. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> if we played comp. I would have went back to my laptop, but gotcha, gotcha. All right, so I mean. We have alts here. We basically just press Q and win. But what we could do here is pull out Widow's alt so we can get an idea where they're at. This and as soon as we believe. find out that the Zarya is by herself, that should basically be a speed, uh, I mean, a target to um, to go on to because she's by herself. She's out of position. Gotcha. They do I, have I think we do use point. sights, but we don't call it the Zarya being alone. Yeah, I mean, gotcha. as time goes on, we'll get better, but... Yeah, yeah. we're, right we're, not, we're not looking for things like that yet. Yeah, as soon as we have uh, as soon as soon we have a better idea of what to expect as far as team-wise goes, then we want to go and, okay, well, this Zarya's in the open, why don't we go on her? I mean, we have Widow Sights, pop it and let's go on her. <laughs> but right now, we're just, like, trying to figure out better ideas and... Like what works for us right now? Yeah. What? The, hey, who the fuck is that? That's the diva mech. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it doesn't. Look I was look. I've been looking for the diva for the last like thirty seconds. I couldn't find her. <laughs> why is she up there? <laughs> why I stopped talking. I was like, uh. <laughs> anyway, um, your your stream still says you're streaming Rogue Company. Are you serious? Oh I just freaking I just changed that. It, it takes a little while to change. Sometimes you have to refresh on your end. It's weird. Like, where is the diva? Like, I know the mech's up there, but where's, where's baby diva? Is she not around? I'm, I'm so confused by why that diva's on the roof. No, she's. I think she's calling a mech. That's why it's up there. But where's the baby? What are you guys talking about? What? <laughs> I don't see shit in any of this. I'm more confused than he is. The diva mech is above In the, the map. Anyway, just continue. Just go ahead. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm dumbfounded by it. Don't worry about it. Ah! Yes. The fuck? Sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, um. Yeah, so we group up at six here. We take the fight into a six. And they're like all split up so this is actually should be a fight winner only because we have alts and they are barely coming on to two alts right now i mean they used wit uh they used the uh, mercy ult but it's uh yeah it's it's not a very good ult no so let's, let's see what we do here All right, so we use Dragon to engage, which is actually not bad. Uh, this lets us get through Choke a lot easier, but there's a Zarya and Diva over here. Instead of going up top to chase this soldier or this Ana or this Echo, which can fly again, we can just go on to these two tanks over here and win the fight easily. As soon as we turn around the corner and we go on the Zarya, she no point. She she has nothing to do but if use her personal. If we didn't push Soldier there, he would have stayed up there and then kept shooting us and someone probably would have died. 
I mean, yes, but we do have the mercy and we do have the Ana, so I mean. Killing, <laughs> in my opinion, killing their DPS and their healers is more important than killing a Zarya Diva just away from us. Yes, hey, but in this case, if we were ult tracking, the Zarya has ult. That's a, you, fight, but... that's a fight winner in itself. Okay, so, it didn't change anything. We still got the kill that we needed. I mean, yes, but I mean, if like we were going on top of it, the soldier, if we were all tracking, the soldier used all last fight. Yeah. So the soldier doesn't have all. Visor. Oh, so, yeah. She, he, he doesn't have visor. So we can just go over here, kill uh, Zarya so that she doesn't use ult. And if she does use ult, okay, great. She just popped ult. And Arana could just be sitting in the back, popping, uh, popping heels and nanoing the, na nanoing the Rhine, so that he can get but, uh, shatter faster. But what I don't get is it's like hoping that Soldier doesn't just pick somebody off with, when we chase her, because Soldier's going to be up there free range. I mean yes, both. I mean yes, and but he doesn't. You can't he does play not have hopes and dreams. I mean, technically, yes, but right here, <laughs> if you're if you're LOS in the soldier, nobody should be getting picked. Uh, the Ryan has like 400 well, health, if, if health if and the Ryan they're going to keep backing up and we have to chase. I think going up top here was the right decision. Is what I'm saying. Boy, well, yeah, but I mean, if you're going after the uh, going after the soldier, if I didn't do it's the like, if we do it. Yes, but if I didn't have the dragon, if we didn't use the dragon to push, the Ana's pumping heals into the soldier, the Mercy's healing the soldier, the okay. soldier also has the soldier also has a healing station, so I mean you're not gonna kill the soldier unless everybody's If you didn't like, dragon I wouldn't went, I wouldn't have went up there. If you if you're saying that we didn't use dragon there, then my opinion changes. But we had dragon, we were running up there, I think going up top was perfect. Yeah. Yeah, but also if you look, the the Zarya and the Diva are away from their team. Ana doesn't have LOS on them. Versus Valking, but she's gonna be the only one that can get to them. I do they see Zilver's point it. though, because Im okay, imagine this scenario where we I chase the Zarya Zilver. six, those two and then Zarya grabs us. Their, like, those two tanks can't get to their team to save their team. We push into their team. Those tanks are throwing. It doesn't matter where they're at. If they're and not with their team, we kill their team. Zarya and it's the same thing. Behind. Uh, yeah, and it's the it's vice versa because if you if you go to the tanks, nobody can help the tanks. And we're it's a lot easier just going ten more steps to the to the left and killing the Zarya and the Diva than taking an extra ten, fifteen steps up top on high ground to kill the to kill the soldier when he also has heals pumping into him from from Mercy we, we and the Echo can also here. fly up. I mean, yes, but I mean either way, the Mercy and Echo can support both the tanks and the soldier. That's not going to change. They can fly. They they can support whoever the fuck they want right now. Yeah. Yeah. And even then, too, like the Echo. I mean, she's going to have flight I, once I again. I don't think so we would have got it that fast if we went for the tanks. I just disagree on that. I mean, I get your point, but I think going given if this was a brawl comp, right? Say we we're fighting like a Ryan Zarya, then that makes sense because they're way out of the position. But I don't like the idea of going for the tanks here because Zarya has grab. Right now, she can't grab us. We're in a position where if she used grab, we can just back up, and now we're way out of LOS of the entire team minus the two tanks. Well, if we go for the... Well, uh, Zildan, okay. hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm agreeing with you here. So if we push the Zarya and Diva, what can end up happening is she can grab us on that high ground kind of where she's standing, and their entire team has LOS oh, on I us in the grab. Point. So I think yeah, Zilver's yeah. right. I think because we use the dragons to screen ourselves... We pushed up to the soldier, killed him, and now we're in a position where the Zarya can't effectively use Grav. What we should have done is killed soldier, then turned around and went for Zarya, I think. I think that's probably the best play. I agree, I agree with that completely, because with all six, well, four, uh, focusing on the soldier, there's no reason we shouldn't have been able to kill him through Ana. Because with the way dragons were, we could have yeah. easily just slid right and forced him off top. And then Ana would have been dead. We could have pushed down if he dropped, but because we killed him. Because the Mercy Heals isn't going to be enough unless he has the, the, the nade on him as well. And the healing pack. It's going to take literally everything to have to keep pack. him alive from all of us. Yeah. 
I think I agree with Zilver here, but at the same time, like I see your point, but the problem is that Diva can still fly away and that Zarya has the dangerous grab there on the comp, bad side. I probably yeah. would have killed. Grab, probably drop before. down, and then, you know. Yeah, then they have but the Diva that just yeah, pump damage in, the Zarya yeah. pump damage in, the Echo's in a good spot, Ana can back up and throw a nade. Soldier's on high ground, I just beam us down from where he's standing, because right now he's not contested if we go for Zarya. And we have no way to contest him as well. Exactly. We can't. We can't. So I, 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 I'm sorry, yeah. Phantom, but I do agree with Zilver here. I think what we did worked really well, but yeah, no, I, I like this is a team type thing. I'm broadening everybody's like. Yeah, no, like, I got you. That works. I'm, I'm broadening every everybody here. So if y'all think there's another, there's a better play as a team, a team wise uh, idea, then I mean that's that's just y'all getting better from here. Nice. Which, I, I wanted to see how you would react if we disagree with you. Awesome. Yeah, Loved no. It. Loved it. Yeah, no. Like, I'm Perfect. not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, no, this is the better play. Like, no, if y'all think there's awesome. another play, as a team, and y'all agree as a team, then uh, we can go that route and uh, see, as time goes on, see if that was actually a better play in the future. Gotcha. Perfect. But you. You made a really good point because if they had one one person comp different, then it could have been a really good. Yeah, point. then like if that diva wasn't a diva, or if that yeah. Zarya wasn't there, or didn't have ult, then yeah, taking the tanks out here would have been massive. But who was I'm Ryan Zarya? Situational or something. player. I see something and it works. I don't know. I've always been that way. I don't really I mean, think too hard I mean, about it. I kind of just do it. I mean, yeah, then that's true, but you got to let your team know. Because if you just do yeah. it on your own, nobody's going to be there to help you. Zilver, you need yeah. to watch a lot of Sinatra plays, dude, because Sinatra is very similar to that. Yeah, I get it. You should watch some of his VODs that he puts, because he, he's very similar to you in that regard, I think. So, I mean... This is also my first time playing Ryan, where I felt like I did a good job. <laughs> yeah, you did, no, it you did perfect. Fine. You did well. You, yeah, you did very well. Hey, you did fine. I mean... Like I said, most of the most of the place here, most of everything that I'm saying, is broadening everybody's spectrum, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's basically what y'all could have done differently as a team, yeah. and where y'all could have been differently as a team. Not to mention, uh, playing this game as six versus six is a completely different fucking game. Yeah. Like. Yeah. In yeah. every sense of the word, the way alts are used, the way abilities are used, the way you move, the way you fucking hit WASD is different. About that, nuts. how I, uh, I, I'm very used to playing alone. I like I've been playing alone up until like a month ago. Yeah, yeah, and this and this is why I had told you then too. Like we got to get you out of that solo queue mindset and start getting you into the team mindset. Yeah, that, that's why starting at the basics, not... like just spamming out names and stuff like that, is really. Yeah. I like it. It works really well, Phantom. You're doing, you're doing great yeah. right now. Yeah, like this is my first time actually coaching a team. So I mean, if y'all have anything differently, like y'all want to do, or y'all have something like y'all want to recommend or whatever, obviously let me know because this is the first time I'm coaching until I can get an actual coach. Cause I wanna, I wanna get y'all better, but also I to like the the only rule that I like keep in my head. Uh, is that contesting high ground is really important because just letting someone beam down on your team sucks. To My friend extent, told yes. me about that, and I was like, oh, like, it makes sense. Yeah, 60% yeah, of that is true, yes. But the other 40% of that is letting your DPS do the job to take the high ground. Yeah. Especially, yeah, that's another thing. In a 6v6 setting, you're expecting that everyone on your team can do the job they're designed to do. Like, if you look yeah. at the screen right now that's frozen, you can see I'm already scoped in on that soldier. Yeah, I'm right, and, right above that diva well, head. You can see him scoped that's in. That's what I was saying about me playing solo. In in like, in the heat of the moment, my my brain was like, okay, I gotta get him off high ground because yeah. I'm the only one playing. Yeah, no, that that I I feel you there. I 100 percent agree with that. I, I know that mindset very well. Like I'm not calling you guys bad. It's just my. No, brain. no, I'm I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. That's that makes no, sense. No, that, that makes that a is lot a of single sense. Single player mindset. That's I yeah, think that's I think we all do. have that mindset, and all I think every single yeah. one of us has that mindset, except for maybe Phantom. He's he's doing a really good job of trying to play. That that's why that's why a, a lot of the time when I Valk, I pull out my pistol, especially if there's an enemy widow. Because especially if you're Nano. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, to, Jesus, it's hard okay. to think about a million yeah. things all at once. Oh yeah. Because yeah. Um, if no, and again, it's a completely different game. Like. You're not That's thinking about, the things you're thinking about are just they don't exist in this six v six setting. They're just no, you know. And those playing together will fix that too. That's... If we continually come at the same times and play together, we yeah. get used to it. Then it won't be a problem. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
but yeah this is this is uh the basics like what i'm trying to teach out here a little bit is the basics of a team uh team mindset and what to expect in like i guess what you can call it like uh what y'all can expect in a 6v6 game because right now like zilver said he was used to playing alone so i want to try to get everybody out of the solo queue mindset out of the out of the solo player mindset and start playing as a team yeah also and... zilver uh later on today we should do some games in comp you ryan i'll zarya and i'll uh, i'll give you some pointers and coach you okay we can do some games like that later yeah, yeah and no. and as time goes on i mean playing together is the number one factor because the more y'all play together the better y'all are gonna feel and the more trust y'all get between each other because all this game is is just trust like you gotta trust your dps to make sure you can get their dps off of high ground you gotta trust your supports to have that los on you even though you're pushing up too far you gotta trust your supports to also tell you that you're also pushing up too far <laughs> Yeah, so, it's hard to it's hard it, to like get that ingrained into my mind. But again, that's yeah. only, this is only our second or third game, right? Like, yeah. and I mean, it's hard now, like but said, give us a as, month. As time goes, yeah, as time goes on, y'all are gonna gain that trust because Rav, I trust him 100. <laughs> percent Knox, I trust him 100 percent because every now and then he'll have a pop off game and he'll get a four man as a with a pocketed ash, uh, pocket mercy ash, and I trust him 100%. Laverne, oh my god, I trust his I trust his calls. But see, for me already, Botwrench already trusts me. I trust oh, Botwrench. Yeah. And I trust Sniper so far. Yeah, Sniper Sniper oh. me and Glaren are in a pretty good spot right now. We we used to play a lot before the whole team thing, so. Yeah, um this is what the game is all about is trust mm -hmm. and communication. Communication and trust because like like I said, if Zilver, like let's say the dragon, I didn't call that dragon, but Zilver had that set to get the soldier off a of high ground, but he didn't say anything, he's essentially dead. Right. If, like, I did call a dragon, I said, we're going to use a dragon to push, I made that communication with you guys, Zilver saw that opportunity and he pushed up. He didn't say anything, but... With the dragon, that kind of gave like yeah, everybody. Yeah, but you, you can kind of see everyone idea. on the team taking that initiative and just kind of following Zilver here. Exactly, exactly. Except for so, me, but I'm also a widow. I'm squishy. It's so it's all about trust You're and communication. Yeah, me, I'm throwing. It's all I'm about it's all about trust and communication. And um, basically, what I was trying to get at here was uh, calling one play, looking at the uh, looking at the Zarya and saying, okay, well, the Zarya and the Diva are out of position. Let's go on to the Zarya and Diva, but y'all saw something different. Y'all called something different. Um, y'all went and took this soldier off a of high ground, which is good. Not a bad play. Yeah. Uh, but like Butterwrench said, if one or the two different better characters. play would have the better play would have been to get this soldier and then turn right back around to get this because they stay on high ground. What's, yeah. what's gonna happen when the Zarya pushes more forward when we're trying to get rid of this? soldier and she just beams down our Anna or she beams down the Hans like she's essentially in our back line for free yeah and she also has grabs so she can grab the mercy there too so she can't get away she can't guardian angel out so that's essentially a 3k right there just in our back line mm, um, right. but I mean I, I see what y'all mean about going to the soldier getting him off a of high ground and then trying to get the Ana as well because that's their main source of heals but just you know like communication and going over body yeah, no, see, you... i think what this did perfectly is it opens our eyes to the idea that if there was a different like a single hero in a different spot or literally just that if there was a different hero in a different spot this entire play could have been done very differently i think given the context of the fight and the dragons and how we pushed and how the zari had alt and how what we did was pretty well done but i I 100% agree that if a single hero here was different, that could have been that could have changed everything. Yeah, everything yeah. here could have been very different. So, yeah. So I think that was well done. Right here, uh, I just kind of want to go over the um, the fight planning a little Ow. bit. Um, I'll, we're not gonna go too far in depth with this, but I do want to get the idea ingrained in y'all's heads. 
because this is actually going to be further in the future when we start talking about fight planning because I do want to get y'all target focusing and I do want to get y'all tracking, uh, start uh, pathing with the tanks. Like, I do want to get more communication on board before we start fight planning, but I want to get it a little bit uh, ingrained in y'all's heads a little and start getting y'all an idea of what it's, what it's supposed to sound and look like. So, let's say uh, Strax here, he's the fight planner. Because he's the uh, he's the main support. No, the off support, my bad. Or, I think, yeah, flex. Or off. I don't know, freaking Raf has a whole different freaking... He has a whole different idea of off flex, and I don't know what he told y'all. But I think he told y'all something similar. Yeah, he said the honest flex and uh, I, I'm main. Yeah. Okay, so flex. Flex reports are usually the the um, fight planner. The main supports are the ones that are alt tracking and uh, I mean supports in general. They make sure they call out up one, down one, up two, down two. Uh, and all that, but and that's I mean, in reference to our team. So earlier, when Butt Wrench was calling down two, he should have been calling up two, right? Yes, yes, Fair that enough. is correct. Yes, somebody call me. <laughs> no, oh, I thought he's, I thought somebody said Phantom. <laughs> no, he said fair enough. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he said Phantom, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but as far as fight planning goes, Strax and Sniper are going to be the fight planners because they are the flex support, off support. So, let's get an idea here. I had, let's say we go back 20 seconds. Actually, let's go back, yeah, about right here. Sorry, my dog took a shit in the kitchen. I'm now back. That's my puppy. Oh, perfect timing, because now we're talking about you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Perfect timing. We're not talking about you specifically. We're talking about uh, fight planning. Mm -hmm. God, look uh, at uh, Fat sleep. <laughs> okay, so fight planning. Give me a general idea, Glaren, Strax, and Sniper, what fight planning to you is. Uh, we're telling the team what ults we're going to use that fight. Exactly. <laughs> I agree with I that, think. but also which way we're going to push and what our first target should be. What our win condition is. Win, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think about that as much, but I've thought about that before. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, win condition is essentially. I was I think thinking of it is, so what like, alts we use, what alts yeah, we, we are going to use that fight. What alts they have to use and what alts we initiate with or plan for the fight. I wouldn't I wouldn't feel comfortable calling what target for you guys to dive on because I don't know what you guys are seeing from your personal view. Even though calling yeah, when I someone's like, low is smart, but like I feel like if target I call... calling and direction of which way the team goes is a tank job. Because if I feel like I call it and somebody's low, I see that they're low, but you don't know where they're at exactly that exact second. I can call direction and then health and then person, but that's three things of new information for you to take in while you're in a big team fight. That's a lot that's going to be distracting. So I feel like trusting the tanks and calling when someone's low so if they see them, they go on it. But I, I'd rather leave that to the tanks than calling who to engage on. Yeah. Yeah. So the tanks are essentially the target callers, so they do call to who to engage on so that is correct uh fight planning though is quick it's quick yeah 10 15 seconds max and probably even less than that and just saying what y'all are gonna do and then going and doing it so right here uh strax yeah let me know uh what you think we should have done here so i, I you want me to watch and then tell you because you're paused for me or you want me to tell you what I think we should have done with the ults we have and the way like we're we're uh pathing just go off of that so and the ults they have as well we don't have dragons we have grav we have yeah he Nano. just used dragon yes he just used let me, dragon let me, yeah let me go back a little bit let me go back a little bit okay bad. cool 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 
Okay. Okay. Right so here. this is okay. So we went back. Sorry, because I was gone. So this is right before we pushed up to the soldier, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So I would feel like um, the Zarya should be should call and say looking for grab. We should plan to look for grab dragon. Um, if team is split, um, then we focus the easier squishy people and squishier people and grab <laughs> dragon and use just those two alts on that. Um, if we need to, we can either do the dragon initiate like we did in the nano Rhine, or we can grab and then wait for after in the nano Rhine as well. Okay. Uh, Do we use walls here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so with walls, then we can. In have, three can seconds from now, you we I use walls. So knowing exactly where they were at, and then having you having you dragon, I probably would have said we should have pushed up top. Uh, Nano Ryan to swing up through the uh, three things of healing that soldier will have. Kill the soldier, focus on a swing down around back, force Diva Zarya down on point, and then we have high ground, they're on low ground, and we have Ryan Zarya that's nanoed on point for that first second to try to just swing that last take. Okay. I feel so like you're. That is. That is. Okay, so yeah, that is. But we have two ticks, two, two minutes left. It would have pushed it to win just in this exact situation. We would have just used, we would have just used grav. We use dragon to initiate grav if we needed it, but just nano, just dragons is all I was saying. No grav unless we needed it. So just nano, just uh, dragons. Okay. Which is, that's what I thought. Yeah. So Probably that's wrong. I mean, it's wrong. a. I mean, it. I mean, never say probably wrong because you want to call the plan you want to make the plan and you want to stick with it you want to say it to where your team understands you and you want to say it so that your team also knows or thinks it's going to work yeah this oh, is actually this is actually I, a big like, thing like, uh like I what we did on the king's row game, i'm sorry right? yeah. i misunderstood i cuz just coming back, I thought you were saying what I thought would have been the prime choice to getting this last tick on this point. What play would have worked out best if we would have did it? Not the exact thing I would have said in the game. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. Well, like, kind of like yeah, what I did in uh, King's Row when we were pushing. I was like, I got yeah. beat. We're going to use it aggressively. I beat it. And then I sped boost and we wiped him. Okay. That's, yeah. Sorry. I yeah. misunderstood. Yeah, no. Uh, and this is not just on Strax. This is not just on Sniper. I mean, fight planning could be anybody. Yeah. Um, and everybody, actually. It, sh it should be yeah. a combined effort, in all honesty. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it does come down to the flex support, off support. But if, yes. obviously, they're going to get... They're going to get... Um, well, what's the word? They're going to... Uh, they're going to not think about it as much. They're going to get... God, I forgot the word. They're going to be tilted a little bit. I don't want to use the word tilted, but they're not going to be thinking about it. They're going to be, like, kind of silent. Comms are going to get silent when y'all are tilted. And most of the time, when the supports do get tilted, they tend to be silent, which also tends for the team to fall silent altogether. That's true. And when okay. I get tilted in comp, I find myself just going Definitely. quiet on comms. So. Oh, yeah. Especially when I feel like things that we say as supports aren't being listened to, be or it's not that I don't want people to take in what we what supports say to heart. I would rather hear quick criticism if we say, "Hey, this person's low," or like, "Hey, pull back on the point." I want a response of saying, "Like, no, I need to push this. No, I need to push this person." Um, so that way, I hear a response to know where to go instead. Yeah. Um, Jesus. And and that's what the fight plan is going to go down to because if you don't have a plan, then the comms, y'all are basically going to be erratic. Y'all are going to be going all over the place without a plan. You're going to over ult. Y'all are going to under ult. Yeah. Uh, y'all are basically going to not have. Y'all are going to win the fight. Yeah. So having a fight plan, having that one person be the base of everything, letting y'all know of what's going to happen, and then the tanks pathing y'all so that we can get that off this is, this is also a big thing i hear and, and i heard it from my diamond buddy when i first started playing overwatch i heard it now more than ever now that i'm in in diamond as tank um it's like the secret to getting through diamond is you either die as a team or you fail alone 
Yeah. So it's, it's much better to make a plan, do it as a team, and lose than go off on your own and try and do your own thing because you're almost never going to succeed if you do it that way. Right. Exactly, because it's a team game. Yeah, following your team and dying as a team is going to get you more wins, get you more Ws than just doing anything alone. That's why you see top 500 players, Grandmaster players, always talking in chat so that the team could Even in comp and random crap like that. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So... Like even if you just go watch Emong and Flats duo, like they're oh they're they're talking <laughs> to their team too. Oh yeah. Because it's all it's all a team game. You have to communicate with your team so that your team can understand what's going on. I mean I can't I can't say the same for SK. SK is kinda quiet and she just does her own thing on Lucio, but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> She's also a there fucking are Reddit exceptions. Lucio. Yeah, there are exceptions. But also but, but also SK fucking frags is Lucio. <laughs> But I guarantee you, if she was on an Overwatch team, she'd be talking more than anybody. She'd be giving a lot of information as Lucio. Yeah. No, what, SK? Yeah. I'd, yeah. Um, so, See, my... Sniper? <laughs> yep. Alright, Sniper, let's hear what your <laughs> fight plan is at this very moment. So, for me... At this very moment... I'm looking at it and thinking, you know, we don't know the positioning yet. Because obviously, sitting IRL, we know where they are because, you know, the bot shows it. Remember, I, I, I do use sites in about two seconds here. Yeah. It's really quick planning, though. But in this very second, we don't know where they're sitting. No. So we're thinking they're either on that high ground or they're holding point. But this is so, a perfect time for you to tell me to call sites. That way we can make that plan. Right, but all right. Like, all right. Okay. I wouldn't have told you to call sites okay. because I think sites right. is more of the widow all right. thing. That's time. All right, here it goes. All right, here it goes. Well, here, like when I say I want to hear a fight plan, I'm talking about fight plan in game. Like this is what you're going to say in game. Yeah. So, sure. like, let me let me let me put out an example here because uh, I'm on a fight plan right now. Okay, we're in game right now. All right. Fun wrench you sites in two seconds, and then from there we're gonna try to use a Hanzo to engage high ground because I see uh, I see soldier on high ground. And all right, cool. Now is the now is the tank's job. So you do you want how, you see how quick that was? Yeah. Do you want? Do you want? Because I always assumed that was main tank, or not main tank. Sorry, main support. Um, as they have easier way to like have sites around and know what's going on while the flex is focused more on like the off thing what they're doing like the healing full full focus on healing um who who do you want making the call so we're not talking over each other is what i'm asking so we can practice those things like ult tracking for one person ult planning for another for the engage the fight planning so it's everybody but Everybody has their job. So Strax, Sniper, y'all are the fight planner. Okay. Y'all are gonna y'all are gonna be the one fight planning. Glaren is gonna be the one alt tracking. Cool. Uh Zilver or, or if I get another main tank in here, they're gonna be the one pathing. They're gonna be the one uh they're gonna be the one target focusing as well. DPS, they got so much thing so many things to work to worry about. <laughs> yeah. But they can also do those things as well. Yeah. Because sometimes we have a very different perspective on what's going on. That's all I was asking. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Just to know what to focus on to improve for self-improvement. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, So the order of which that goes is as soon as y'all bundle up at six, let's say y'all lost the fight, y'all bundle up at six, it should be alt tracker. So Glaren speaks, speaks first. He lets everybody know what they used and what we... Uh, what they have. Everybody should be pressing tab uh, so y'all can see what y'all have so Glaren doesn't have to say that himself like, oh, we're coming up on visor. We shall do that. Glaren is the one alt-tracking so he should be the one saying what the enemy team used and what the enemy team has. They have nano and grav. I think I heard Valk. Stuff like that. Yeah, they, they were using Valk in that fight. They're using it right now, actually. Yeah, that's what I mean. But I think you did call it. And then from there, 
it's the as everything's going on let's say like we do have a sombra as everything's going on the sombra is scouting and she's calling everybody's positions out so the scouter could be talking while the old tracker is talking the scouter could be talking while the fight planning is going on so it's it's yeah uh, it's it's one of those things like if you listen to overwatch league calm stuff like that it's not just one person like the entire team is screaming over each other uh, yeah. everybody is talking the entire time and it is up to the re respective team members to listen to who's talking figure out what's important and then go from there yeah and it's the support's job to say yes or no yeah okay okay like let's say let's say uh i'm let's say instead of me being hanzo i'm a, and i'm on point and i'm saying Echoes on point alone. Can we diver? And the support that everybody else goes, no, we cannot. We're not in the position to. Let's say we are on high ground and we are in the position to go on that echo. But y'all are focusing somebody else. The supports at that point are saying, no, we cannot go on that echo. So and it's all based on the supports because cool. of the OS the supports has. That's hot. Okay. And I do want to point out I that, um, that. I do think with me and Strax and Sniper playing Apex, we're learning some of those skills, too, of how to engage and when when to engage and how to. Yeah, if I mean, you, it, if you want me to talk, too. I just feel bad talking over you guys when you guys talk. If you want me to do certain callouts, I will do certain callouts. That's all I'm asking. Oh, that's what I'm supposed. I, mean, I will say things. I'm just. I just feel <laughs> bad because I'm not as familiar with you guys. So I'm like, I don't know if I should be saying this. I see this. I don't know if you want to hear it because I trust you guys. You guys. Strax, I'm just new, tell me to shut the fuck yet. up from time to time. Okay. <laughs> I do it okay, all the time. So I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what my coach told me when I was. Uh, when I was learning Sombra and I was scouting, and I see a out of position player. My coach told me, tell the team to shut up and to follow my call. Cool. I mean, I'm not going to... That's not me. I, no, I get it. <laughs> Strax, just tell me to shut the fuck up, okay? I love your voice so much. <laughs> I'll help you. Claren, shut the fuck up. Okay, sorry. No. I just... When I when I was trying to do say certain things, I guess... I don't know if it's personal, maybe Ow. maybe maybe trauma, you know, ooh, goody goody. But when I when I when I say details, sometimes like it's not acknowledged and things go the opposite. So I don't know if I was heard. So it makes me stop talking as much and start listening, thinking if one person's shot calling to listen to them instead of trying to clutter comms. That's what I'm worried about. So if you guys hear me fine and you guys are if, getting my information then i'll just keep doing it that's fine yeah. okay so i just i just i didn't know if you know it was being yeah. actually heard and sucked up i'm gonna i'm gonna get <laughs> it back all right you're good man yeah, uh, uh. yeah don't be afraid to just say shut the fuck up <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Glaren. Thank you. Thank you. Good. <laughs> what? <It's> just good. <laughs> oh no, uh, <clears throat> Phantom said, "Give him a second. Oh, cool. I can grab another fucking beer. Hey, you ever, you ever had Voodoo Rangers? Nope. God I damn, am. me neither. But this shit's like ten percent in one beer. One can, 10%. God damn. I drink a juicy haze, man. I'm feeling haze myself. I'm going to grab another one. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. I've been down five of my eight in two days. <sighs> well, this six-minute VOD has us... taken us two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Zilver has us muted. No, it's okay. I knew how long it was going to take you guys. <laughs> Me and Phantom were playing Cold War, and he's like, all right, we're going to get this VOD review. He said, I'll be back in like two hours. I was like, all right, I know, I know the deal. Perfect. Perfect. 
All right, I'm back. Nice. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Oh, hey, baby. What's up, buddy? Not much. I've just been listening in. You know. <laughs> yeah. I had to tell Glaren to shut the fuck up, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving us good pointers on how to tell Glaren to shut up. Yeah. Really emphasize the fuck. Yeah. I am, trust me, I am not giving you guys pointers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a total of seven minutes played on Overwatch. <clears throat> so, I don't know anything about it. Uh, well, we're just finishing up here. We have like 15 minutes left. I mean, we're over. Bro, <laughs> we're over good. by 45. What do you mean? Yeah. We got 15 <laughs> left. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it. You're good. I'm going to cut it in 15, though. You're good. Uh, you know, I'm going to be up to like four in the morning, so it don't matter. Hey, yeah. Okay. I had a, I had yeah. a phone call again. God damn it! Yeah, once, Stop being so once, busy. once we're done here, I'm going to lay down because my head is fucking killing yeah, me. Yeah, I'm gonna take off and we'll watch for a bit. I'll be back I mean, on in a few hours. Yeah, I mean we're over by 45, so if anybody has to go, I mean, I don't have to go. It's no, just I'm, I'm, I'm gonna no, go I'm, take a nap after this. I'm committed to finishing <laughs> this fucking vod. We only got like a minute yeah. left <laughs> out of the six <laughs> minutes of this vod and the two hours we've been here. Uh, All right. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the as far as like the was there, was there anything about my play while I was on that phone call? No, we were no. talking about uh, fl fight planning and what we should be doing as supports to uh, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, the as far as like the order of which that goes is scouting is happening all throughout this. So uh, scouting could happen in the beginning, it could happen in the middle, it could happen in the end, it could happen from the beginning to the end. It it just happens naturally throughout um it starts off with old tracking so glaren's gonna be the one old tracking letting us know what they used and what they have and that gives the fight planner the idea of what to use so okay well they have nano and they have uh and they have uh what is that daria do they have grav so okay well they have nano they have grab okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use sites in two seconds we're gonna see where they're at and then we're gonna use dragon to get so we can go on high ground okay that's a basic that's a basic plan right there so what you can expand on that is we can use dragon to go on high ground if they use nano we're going to use our nano um quick question do you take notes while you like go through vods I do, but since this is just recent and it just happened like on the fly, I didn't take it down any notes. Yeah. Um. If you do that, you should make a channel to where you can like post the notes. Oh, I am. I'm going and, to. And like a date. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what I'm go what I'm going to do is I'm going to what my coach does is he uh records all the vod reviews that he does with the players and the team, and then he uploads them on YouTube. Right. That's kind of what I was actually cheap. gonna do, so that works. And then I was gonna say, over. isn't Butt Wrench recording right now? You're damn right. Isn't this is... an hour long VOD review already? Uh, <laughs> two, <laughs> two, yeah. It's about three, two hours, yeah. Like yeah, that's why. I, that's why I said if anybody, if anybody wants to go or they have to go, or whatever, they're free to go. They're free to leave. We're already past like 50 minutes, so yeah. um, I'm not gonna keep y'all past if y'all have to go somewhere and do something. Um. But yeah, the fight planning happens, and then that goes to the the tanks on pathing, so that we can best fit this uh, fit this plan that Strax put for us, or Sniper put for us. Um, but yeah, I mean that's the order of which comms are supposed to go, and throughout this entire throughout this entire communication process, I mean. That's when the support say yes. That's when the support says no. That's like the supports are, like I said, you treat the supports as royalty, and they basically tell y'all what to do and tell y'all if they can do it and when they can do it. And if they cannot do it, or if y'all don't do it at all, and it's also everybody's job to help the supports and to help each other out. If Glaren is tilted or whatever and he's not alt tracking. Uh, let him know, or somebody talk, somebody say something. I'll, well, 
you're a DPS player. Oh, well, they have Nano. They have, uh, I think they used Valk right now so that Glaring could get that understanding of, oh, well, it's my job. It's my job. Uh, Strax, let's say he's tilted. He's not talking. Uh, let's say he forgets his job or whatever. Um, and nobody has a fight. Nobody fight plans. Uh, oh, Strax, well, Strax, what's the plan? Or, hey, Sniper, what's the plan? Um, what, what, what's going on? What are we doing this fight? Just, you know, letting your team know what's going on. Team and Lizard dies by comms. Exactly. Exactly. If you do not communicate, nobody's going to understand what's going on. And, yeah, the team's going to fall apart. But, yeah, I mean, it's not... Like, if somebody tells you, like, Strax, let's say you're not talking, and somebody tells you, hey, Strax, you need a fight plan... It's not them taking a, like, taking a gut punch at you, like, telling you, hey, like, you're not fight planning, what's going on? Like, no, it's just them letting you know, like, hey, we don't have a fight plan, what's, what's going to happen in this fight? Like, I just want everybody to understand, like, this is what's going to happen in the future. <clears throat> um, gotcha. Things are not going to be called on comms, and that's basically the team to, to uh, get those things rolling. And the team to, you know, say those things when they're not being called. Um, but yeah, communication is a big thing and trust too. Because if you don't have trust in your DPS to go take that DPS off high ground. Or to battle the enemy on high ground. And you do it yourself. Then the rest of your team is going to struggle. So it's all about trust and all about communication. Like, it's fine if you're going to push... A bastion off a high ground or you're gonna push uh, like a widow off a high ground but let your team know that and maybe the entire team could go with you and that rotation to the high ground um, but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know and get you you know thinking a little bit about uh, the fight planning a little bit um, it's obviously gonna be it's obviously gonna be more refined as time goes on but Communication, I think, uh, as far as what everything's going on here, I think uh, putting putting it out there is uh, the best thing to do. Start getting it ready for the next for the next thing. And as time goes on, as we were playing, I mean, there was a lot of good uh, target echoing uh, being called there, and it really showed that uh, the practice that we did before actually really helped. So I'm really happy that y'all took a took action and was echoing those calls. Yeah, I know me, uh, me, Glaren, and and uh, Sniper have actually been using that in our comp games a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's real good because it. Yeah, I win too much because of it. All, all, honestly. Yeah, and it really it does help too. And I bet you anything, y'all were winning, y'all are winning like sixty percent more or more of those teams because of it. As long as the other randoms yeah. are doing the same thing as well but i, I doubt it <laughs> i know the the last bad review i did with ravi is just like how can you solo queue yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah but glaring that's not fair you get, you're the mo you're the unluckiest motherfucker on the planet when it comes to either fighting an enemy rhine or having teammates <laughs> <laughs> like random teammates for you is just automatic loss it's weird yeah but um, as time goes on, y'all are going to get more refined. Y'all are going to get better at the comp. Just right now, like I said before, when we were doing the target calling, and uh, we were echoing those calls and fighting the comms with the echo, with the echo calling, the echo, uh, echoing the target calling, it was because y'all have to start off at the bottom. You have to start on the bottom. You have to build a basic support on the bottom so that y'all can build on it. And right now, the target calling is the number one thing because if y'all are target calling, then targets die faster. And uh, as once we refine the target calling, and I think y'all are doing a great great job with that, then we're gonna start, you know, throwing the old tracking in there. And then once I see y'all are doing great with that, then we're gonna start going a little bit off on the um, the fight planning and the scouting and more things of that nature but yeah basically it's going to um we got to start off with a basic support and that's the uh, target target focusing target calling 
I mean, as time goes on, as the games are going on, I mean, it really felt like y'all were doing a good job of uh, focusing those calls and echoing them too. So, I mean, it it really did look like it's helping, and we were winning those fights too. So, I still, I still don't really focus all that great, honestly. I, I see a target and I get it. Just gotta dunk I don't down really dick what I miss. I have a problem with that. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's um, it's the solo queue in your in your mind, mm -hmm. like, oh well, we hear that target, okay, well let's go get it, and then you're basically on it, which I get it, but let's say your Hanzo didn't hear that call. Well, let's say your May didn't hear that call. Let's say your Reaper didn't hear that call. Well, they're gonna be going off on a Zarya in off on um, the separate part of the map. When the other five are going off on, the, on Orion, which is with the rest of his team. Not to mention, it's one. Of the, it's a little. It's a little thing. But once we get more comfortable with one another, like I'm, I'm seeing this happening a lot for myself, is that when the calls are being made, and I only hear two people echoing the call, I only think two people are attacking that target. Yeah. So I might decide, yeah. okay, well, if there's only two people attacking that, I'm gonna keep sniping X because X, I can get an instant kill on that X. Instead of getting a yeah. body shot on like their Zarya, which five people are already attacking. Yeah. Right. So it's it's a mental like uh, Zion had said before, it's a mental thing. Yeah. If five people are calling the same target, then five people are focusing. Yeah, that's a big thing means... I've I've noticed in comp games, especially is that when with me, Glare, and Sniper are all yelling the same name, you have everyone on the team attacking that target because they already know there's three people focusing on one guy, so they want to get on get in on that sweet sweet killing action. Yeah, and that's the basic mind, the mind games of it too. Because like, yeah. like Budwrench just said, he was all three of them were calling it in a uh, in comp. So then the other three followed with that comp, and they basically killed that one person. I would assume because all six people were focusing that one target. So it, it's Ding. a it's a mind game thing. And as time goes on, it's we're not gonna be flooding comps with just the target focusing. We're not going to be flooding comms with just that. And maybe in the fight, in the fight party of the of the comp, of the game, when y'all are basically fighting the enemy team, then yeah, flood comms with that. But, I mean, y'all aren't going to be flooding comms with the target when y'all are fight planning. Y'all aren't going to be flooding comms with the target when y'all are, uh, when y'all are, um, alt tracking. At this exact point in, in time where we're just kind of sitting here waiting. Yeah. So, I mean, as time goes on, when y'all are in the fight, part of the comp then yeah echo the call so that everybody else can focus on one target but it's like a zyn like butt ranch like uh everybody else is also saying too like it's a mind it's a mind game it's a mind thing everybody's calling that one target then everybody's focusing that one. people die a lot faster right i get it but, uh, but yeah i mean like i said we're gonna be echoing the comms with the with the target focusing a lot more now only because we have to get more practice in it and then let's say two three months from now we're not going to be doing that we're going to be echoing yeah but we're not going to be flooding so it's it's all about uh it's all about just following your teammates and trusting your teammates and comms and their communication and all that and trusting the targets because at this point i mean yeah, sniper has the long range beam and she can and sniper can call a target like ten meters away, but you on the other hand, you're Ryan. You can't swing ten meters away. That's oh, why that's why the main tank is the main target. The the main target uh, caller. So uh if you're going on a let's say you're going on their soldier, you're gonna call the soldier because he's right in your right in your face. Which means everybody else should be focusing that soldier as well. <laughs> but yeah i mean as time goes on it'll the communications will get more refined and things will get more laid out and y'all will get um more time more experience and y'all will basically be calling these on your own <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i said this is my uh first time coaching and body reviewing and kind of like just spitballing here a little bit <laughs> i think you did pretty good no you're doing fantastic i think i was honestly really worried that when we challenged your views what was going on you'd have a bit of a 
bit of an issue with it. I'm really happy you had a very... Uh... Yeah, no, like I told y'all when I had told y'all in the ad that I had posted and I had told y'all in... I don't know if I told most of y'all, but I know I, that as long as y'all have an open mind um, about the coaching and an open mind about calls and the training that's going to happen here, everybody's going to happen everybody's gonna you know expand on their on their playtime everybody's gonna expand on their playing mentality so i mean same thing here i mean i have an open mind if y'all think there's a better call we'll look at it we'll go over it and see if that was a better call and i mean in time it seemed like that was a better call for y'all and yeah we'll go with the soldier and then we'll go right back around and get the zarya because she's gonna be focusing y'all's backline like crazy. I know if, like, let's see right here. I'm gonna press play right here. Let's see if the Zarya did go to the backline or if she. I let's got off if... the stream. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I didn't actually think I was gonna do this anyway, so that's fine. Let's see if the Zarya goes backline or. Uh, she actually just stays there. Like, if she was actually smart. If that Zarya was smart enough, she should have just gone to the back line and killed the op. But she didn't. Yeah, see, which, that Zarya was totally waiting push. to grab us, too, because... I get the... Yes, I, that, I get that grab the... was very out of position. Yeah, like, I think I think they're... we forced her to make that bad grab, in all honesty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... I it, get that you uh, think too. about... I get that you want us to think about, like, if they make... If the person makes the right decision. But I know a lot of the time at our rank, they won't. I understand, yeah, but, but I get, I I mean, get it. Uh, yeah. We're yeah. talking yeah, more know, of us six all queuing together, not us improving individually. Yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. In rank. yeah. And even then, too, like you're going to be doing scrims yeah. here in the future. I want to try to get y'all a scrim by next Saturday. If we can get a main tank and a hit scan. Hopefully, case rule is. Do we have another scan. off tank? Or, or a projectile. I mean, it's like an off tank. tank. I mean, Emmy's an off tank, yes, and her schedule's a little bit up in the air. But I mean, she should be able to make most practices and everything. But if I can, I can find another off tank. It's just main tanks are hard to find. If I yeah, can, we if don't, I can we just don't get exist. better at run, then I can main tank since no one else wants to. Well, I don't mind. the The sad part is, is that we would main tank up to the rank of which, but can finally swap to main which i know he's yeah yeah then i could like if all, then like, i could swap back to off tank yeah that's true that's a good point i don't mind it doesn't like, matter and i can sub in off tank too if uh strex or sniper want to do i could support. swap main because i do yeah. run main whenever i play with sniper and he runs yeah because we have zilver on main tank and the three of you can kind of just be two yeah. supports and off yeah how, the three of you can swap. About i do play off tank as well i do play off tank fine i just how, can't play main tank What's yeah up, no Andy? how about this if y'all can try to play comp as much as possible and try to get to at least <laughs> 2400 between uh no let's go 2500 plat. yeah if y'all can get to plat if y'all can hit plat by the end of the month I will put Ranch as the main tank. Oh, and we fuck. will... And oh, we will... Ranch, let's get Vicarian! Oh, and I hear him slightly... We need, to, we need to focus on the rest of the team, too. Where do yeah. you want... Where do you want... Because we have three people, two flex supports, one main support. Where do you want us playing? Because we have a weird DPS flop. Like, I play projectile DPS mediocrely, off tank more comfortably. Like... Where do you need us to flex? We need to talk about this another time and well, flex where yeah. we can fit. Well, as far as that's concerned, when the with the experience I have in this with the subs, as far as you're concerned, is you're swapping in and out with sniper. Okay. So you're not playing another another role. You're so just, just focusing waiting. on your exactly but y'all are swapping i mean i want to try to get y'all in every other game so let's say one scrim sniper has three out of the five and you play two out of the five and then the following scrim after that you get three out of the five and sniper gets two out of the five 
So you are yeah. just swapping. Yeah, and th that way it'll allow Sniper to focus on, say, on a Moira and you to focus on on a Zen or something like that, or on a Lucio or whatever. Well, I don't think Lucio is considered an off... Like, is yeah. No, no, sorry. Is I, I'm just bringing up random heroes just yeah. for the sake of it. I'm just bringing up random heroes for the sake Lucio's of it. Lucio's a DPS with speed boost. Oh, you're saying <laughs> yeah. yeah. if we need one particular hero Like a Zenyatta, a because I know Zenyatta's used as an off support. So you're you're basically saying so for one match on a map we're like we're like oh shit we want to run this comp that support is needed so we flip who's actually playing because they're more comfortable. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm saying. No. But I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, that's one person all I'm running saying, Zinit, but... one person running Mora. Then if it's like a serious matter, we feel who needs to in a serious effect, not for practice. I'm saying for like an actual match. I mean for scrims. For scrims, yes. Okay, no, that's scrims, the, for scrims, no. For scrims, no. no. no I'm, I wasn't let, saying let me, no. Scrims no, no. Scrims, no. Yeah, scrims, no. Because y'all are gonna be focusing on the same heroes together. Because I mean, same hero pool. Yeah, y'all y'all are gonna have the same hero pool. So strikes, you're gonna play three games first. Sniper, you're gonna play two games. The last two games. Or opposite, yeah. But that but well, my point was for like if we ever got into a serious game, then the reason for having the the swap player would be for. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yes. that's what I was yeah. saying. Yes. Then it would be for whoever's more comfortable yeah. with your which comp. Yeah, because... quickly ranked or scrims. I was saying for like a serious game, that's yeah. when you would swap somebody in. Yes, that, that makes sense to me. Okay. Because right now, Strax, you're not a sub. You are part of the team. I just have you as a sub because, I mean, that, let's just put it. You can't have. You can't, can't have two fixes. <laughs> you can't have two fixes. <laughs> People, people ping at Overwatch, and I don't get it. And I'm like, wow, that's sad. Well, uh, let me just change that because, I mean... <laughs> I look at him like, ah, oh, damn, man. Like, this... No, it's it's fine. It's fine. I still see this shit. Yeah, because like I said, subs are technically not subs. Subs, to me, are if you can make it, if we need that role filled because somebody in that role cannot make it oh, like oh shit we have five on this day but we have a scrim that day hey can you make it we we don't have anybody to fill that role like What's yeah that's funny. a oh, okay so sub so you just want a team of like a straight team of six then essentially yes okay like a solid so team that's of six, rather gotcha that's where i was asking if we couldn't find other people i could try to flex and the other stuff to fill it but that's fine i get it yeah so like flexing to flexing to me is basically like if you're on the roll and you can flex and you can flex to like a main support to job or you can switch to the off support job that's the flex role to me yeah yeah i get that but as far as like you're concerned, you're part of the team. You're not a sub. Oh shit. Okay. I thought I wasn't on on the team. I thought I was just here to fill in if sniper wasn't here. Yeah. No, you're not. You're you're part of the team. I just yeah. put you as a sub because I mean, I wanted to at least try to get some. Uh. Yeah. But wrench, were you were you still gonna play with me and be Azaria so I can figure out what I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. I'm drunk, but I yeah, want to keep I playing. Pause my... I'm going to hop off for two, three hours. Uh, oh, no. I'm not gonna... perfect. Well, here, one second, actually. I've got time. No. Oh, the I've got time off. to download. That, but, that's such uh, a huge background. I followed you, by the way, Jesse. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your setup is really cheap. Jesse. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be hopping off, and I'm playing some a different game with my cousin, my roommate. And then I'll be playing yeah. that for maybe two, three, four hours, and then I'll hop back on until like seven in the morning or yeah, something. So. I, yeah, I'll probably be on uh, up all night. Yeah, well, I was going to go, go. I was, I was gonna go fishing. I was going to go fishing, did, but did you guys see my introduce there. yourself? I yeah, did. I like it. Silver. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> is this? It was a good. Uh, it was a good. What? 
it was a good practice today. I'm I'm really happy with today. Hopefully, no, yeah, I, same. I'm very happy with this actually. Hopefully, hopefully I taught y'all something. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I I really enjoyed the King's Row game where we rolled them. That was terrifying. Yeah. That, that was, was the amazing. Dumbest game I've got... ever played in my life. Dude, that, not... was that was dirty. So lame. No, I'm so <laughs> healing and then i said i can't heal you guys and you guys said yeah fuck you we're gonna kill them anyways and then you killed them all you killed them all and i said yeah i'm not needed and i just emoted on point and i just waited dude. and he came back and i'd heal you guys and you'd go you know, like, dude that, that was, was we don't need healing if they're all dead that was dude, what right. happens when you have a right. good a good fucking sombra with a reinhardt who's just like okay it was, was so nuts. Y'all got, got and the idea. Speed so and this, like, yeah, no, everyone boost. there was perfect, dude. There was no one yes, person that was bad. That was amazing. Low on health, I'd heal you, and you'd run off. And I was like, <laughs> go right, back, my yeah. Go. <laughs> All right, my children, go. Oh my and god. Me, just <laughs> mother, I am alone. hungry. Yeah, uh, mother, I need, I need a band aid. Thank you. Right, Y'all got the idea. Y'all got the idea of the bra type sombra. Oh yeah, no, that was that was dirty. It that was, was that was well done. Yeah, so, yeah. So basic, like I said, you want to the Sombra wants to get behind them, pick them up, pick them off, try to get them all charged. Obviously, not kill anybody. If you can, great. If not, then yeah. getting that old charge is better. See, Glaren, you know, then, you know how I'm always talking about like Sombras have like a few different play styles. Like there's the dual play yeah. style, there's the build EMP style. That's the build EMP style right there. That's the piss that's, them off in the back line, get some ult charge, and then when they turn around, they die. That that's that's, that's, that's exactly that's what I was talking about. I play as yeah, that's yeah, exactly what I've been like, talking about. It's perfect. Like, poke, poke, mosquito poke. Yeah. I'm really yeah, I, sad um, because I like playing Lucio, but he's technically main, and I have no reason to keep practicing him. But I love playing Lucio. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's fine. I mean, that's fine. Lucio's always gonna get needed because of speed boost. Oh yeah, Lucio. We're never not gonna not run bad. a Lucio, a Lucio uh, Mercy. <laughs> that when are we gonna run that? I mean, we oh, no, whenever we have whenever we have time. <laughs> I mean, but remember, we can also like practice no funny comps way. to see what works weirdly well. Because I really, really want to yeah. I mean, there there is the one comp called like there's the Chinese cheese. <laughs> I'm sad. Like, I really, really want to teach y'all bra so that y'all can get an idea of what bra is supposed to be like. We can go to bra. And so I want a number. Yes, like two. if someone pick a number: two, three, four, or five. Three, four, three, five, five, six, Fuck. six. But six. yeah, I really want y'all to learn bra and way better, just in case. Just in case y'all like, let's say we're learning dive or whatever, and y'all are getting shit on and dive. <laughs> oh well, let's switch to bra. And y'all just destroy them with Brawl. I feel like Brawl would be really good for us to learn, uh, just as, a, <laughs> as getting used to each other, and then swapping either James. Dive or Spam when Look we get much more time we have left. comfortable with uh, call-outs and how each other plays. <laughs> yeah, like that's what I, that's what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to learn Brawl to the point where y'all are comfortable on it. Dude! I'm going to lay down. Oh, hold up, Glaren. Right, we, right. we won that Kings Row game with 6 minutes and 12 seconds still on the clock. Oh, so... shit. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> like, right. holy I'm fuck. Gonna, I'm going to go okay. bow and I'll be right back. Yeah, All right, I'm going to go to the washroom. I'll be back in a few hours. All right, sounds good.